almost reminded me of a sitar, a sitar recital that I attended many years ago. This guitar sounded so much like the sitar. I don't know if it was inspired by Hindustani classical music. I'll tell you something. Uh, also, the uh, organ sound reminded me so much of Touch Me, of Doze. Come on, come on, come on, come on, touch me. Babe. The organ sound in that is pretty similar to this in the background, the organ that was playing here. Wow, beautiful music, nevertheless. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work on the guitar by the guitar player of Babe Ruth. And phenomenal drumming too. There was a lot of drumming, there was a lot of guitar in this one. No Definitely is. the guitar being the most dominant instrument in this one. Uh, I don't know exactly who was on the guitar, but I'm assuming it's Alan Shacklock once again. Um, or oh, Dave yeah. and Sean. Beautiful, beautiful song. It's named King Kong for whatever reason it has been named. So, uh, I don't know, only Babe Ruth may be able to tell us why this has been named King Kong. Uh, but yeah, beautiful to listen to and definitely gave me a lot of Hindustani classical music vibes. When you say Hindustani classical music, I agree with that because there was sort of jugalbandi that was happening between the guitar guitar and the piano. So there was almost a jugalbandi that was uh, on play uh, throughout the song. Uh, it, it had a prominent tune and that tune can become like an earworm. Turun, turun, turun. It keeps repeating itself again and again. Uh, I like this kind of jigarbandi because uh, you know guitar and piano they both are stringed and they sound so similar uh, in terms of being stringed. Tunes, uh, the way they bring uh, bring out tunes and they are both doing uh, collaborating together and here the drum player had the best role because he was to differentiate between the two. So his role was very important. Why he played it, he shown in this song. It's exactly like Hindustani classical music or Indian it is, classical music. The composition music, was very similar. Where the sitar is there, the tabla, tabla, uh, and, yeah. you know, uh, shenai. There, there are few instruments only that are principally used in Indian classical music or Hindustani classical Food. music. So yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's, it was pretty similar. You know, it was, it was based on similar lines. I'm uh, almost certain that somewhere or the other, this band has heard Hindustani classical music because you don't normally hear such uh, jugal bandi or uh, fusion or kind of thing or you know uh, one instrument against another instrument in western music you usually hear it in Hindu, solely in Indian classical music that's the uniqueness of it but here you also see it here so it's obviously inspired from this part of the world yeah Jugal Pandi is when uh, uh, two are playing uh, together, but one is trying to outshine the other in the best way possible so that the whole composition turns out to be uh, one of the great, uh, greatest. So both are trying to make the composition better by playing even better than the other. It's like that. It's a, a, a face-off or something like that.